everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Stream Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. Without further ado, Rab, tell them what happened so far. Here's what happened so far. Draco and his companions quest to br uh, brings them to Hoto, where they are asked by the priestess Miko to deal with a monster that has been troubling the village. The monster turns out to be a hoax perpetrated by two young children who ask the party to help them investigate the nearby volcano. There, they spot a vicious, uh, the vicious dragon, Tatsunaga, and return to Hoto to warn the villagers. Shortly after they arrive there, Tatsunaga attacks and swallows Miko whole. But fortunately, our heroes are able to fend him off. Our heroes make their way to the dragon's lair deep in the heart of Mount Fuji and slay mighty Tatsunaga. From within the beast's belly, the seeing glass glows brightly, restoring Ryu to human form. He asks Draco to give him his regards to Miko before fading away. Hoto has finally been freed from the dragon's curse, and the party head back there to tell the villagers they have nothing more to fear. Upon hearing of Miko's fate, the people of Oto have per are perturbed at the thought of a world without her firm hand to guide them. But Atsuo gives a rousing speech, and they vow to work together to meet the future head-on. With the village seemingly in good hands, the party leaves to continue their quest to conquer the Shad Lord of Shadows. Not Shadow Lord. Slightly different. Leave the Shadow Lord comes from Final Fantasy. Alright. Well, time to play a flute solo. Um, that would be items. Important. And away we go! Ooh! Pretty. Alright, so I'd like to take a quick look at the map. So it's obvious where we need to go, but you notice these like little yellow dots here? Those are areas you can land with Cetacea and take off with her as well. If you don't take off from one of those designated yellow spots, then Cetacea will just transport you back to the landing for your flight. In the center, there's the big spooky castle of uh, Mordigan. But we... Oh, I see there's a uh, barrier around that. Oh, well. Let's see what this place is all about over here. This looks interesting. Very interesting Skyland. Yes. Wee! Yes, let's land here. Take us down, Cetacea. Wasn't this a quaint little place? said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here, too. Now, this is just one of those random generic sky islands. There's nothing here. This is just a floating rock with no purpose. With a temple on it. Is that a temple of some sort? Nah. That, that, that's a, a Burger King. I know those don't really exist in this world, but, uh... Shall we go and find out what it is? Uh, I mean, Serena, we were brought here because the Sky Whale brought us here. Yeah, nice private Skyland. Yeah, no, that's definitely not a temple. I mean, come on. There's only, like, what, four torches on the way up? 
Nah, it's clearly something generic. Look at this tiny whatever it is. A vase, maybe? Can't pick it up. Huh. Feels like something should dock here. But what? I could not tell you. Well. Might as well explore the one thing on the island, but, uh... Look at that happy little door! Anyway. I'm gonna do one quick lap, because, I mean, you know... You might as well. I came to this Skyland and I can take a lap, so why not take a lap? Get in your steps, you know? A little bit of exercise while you casually look around, making sure there's no treasure chests that you may or may not have missed. While you roll around at the speed of sound. Not seeing anything. And we've made a whole lap, and there was nothing. Why even have the outer ring if you're not going to put anything on it? Gah. All right, let's go see what this happy little door is about. We can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Gads, it's Majin Buu! Oh, what is it? Okay, Eric, that's just rude. Uh, it's you. Indeed, is me. And all the watchers. Yeah, yeah, it is Elpharat. The, the watchers? And what are they? Eric, come on, it's in the name. They watch. They're clearly watching the stream with everyone. I mean, Alpharet, that just wouldn't work. This is Majin Buu. You have to destroy every molecule. Oh, you need know? a spirit bomb. And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? Well, that's sad. His entire civilization is collapsed except for the sole survivor here. Well, that sucks, little watcher dude. But I mean, on the bright side, there is another island that's floating. Maybe there's someone alive on that one. That's awful. Fucking Mortigan. Mortigan got to you guys too, huh? Sorry if I was out of line just now. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Morgan put his castle up in the sky. The people living in the sky would probably be the first target of his ire. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Guiding light burns it in. Has burned since time began. Robin Temple of Dawn. Here. Was cleaning. Attack came. Was protected by guiding light. Ah. This Magic MacGuffin protection. Pretty special. Yeah, I'd say something called the guiding light is pretty damn special, Eric. Oh, we're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? No. Well, maybe. <laughs> We'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Yes. But what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Uh not worry. And fine. And watcher. Story of watch is not over. I mean I guess not. You are still alive and you're a child. You beat Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Cycle restored. Life and rebirth. Oh, 
So there's hope for his species yet, maybe. Well, you know, that's a positive way of looking at things. No pressure. Wait. You know who he is? I mean, they've been watching Erdria all this time, Eric. How could they not know? The Luminary is pretty ingrained in our society's culture. Even, admittedly, they only show up in the worst case scenarios. They're still pretty heavily ingrained. Just not gonna answer that, huh, little dude? Wait, how do you know of him? Mm. That is a miniature sun. Excuse me. Can I even get close to this thing? Just gonna, gonna look at these things first, because clearly this is something. Mysterious energy emanates from the seedling. It feels similar to the energy given off by Yggdrasil's roots, but nothing happens when you touch it. Oh, well, never mind. But, you know, just for consistency's sake. Yep. Same message every time. Well, let's, uh... touch this miniature sun, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Do you really need any light sources when you have this? And so holy. I feel pure just looking at it. I will take your word for it, Serena. Uh oh, it's reacting. Oh, it's glowing through my armor. Neat. I'm gonna touch it. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. Oh god! The light, it burns! Oh. Whoa. Did all that light just get squished down into that little thing? Seems like it. Draco acquires the guiding light. Oh. Now I can pay attention to those. Something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil. You do bring up a very good point, robot. <laughs> I think you should take a closer look, don't you? Yes, I yes I do, Serena. Rather important to show us. Yeah. Are we sure the temple door is locked? Because Mordigan's castle is like not even a stone's throw away from this island. Well, the door is closed at the very least. That makes me feel safer. I don't feel safe, but certainly that'll mitigate him for like a second. It's Erdwin and his crew. That sure is a rock he's holding. You all saw that too, right? Sylvanda, we've been through visions how many times? Of course we did. Nah, you know what? It, it was probably somebody else. Sure, they had the luminary mark and all, but that could have been anyone. Uh, aye, I do. And I have a feeling you have the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. What? No. I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. So 
those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? Hmm. My party is much bigger than his. It's not like a contest or anything, but I have more friends than Erdwin did. The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? So, I mean, if we're just apples to apples comparisons here, because I have the bigger party, I'd say we have a higher chance than Erdwin did to beat the Lord of Shadows. Makes sense. All right, so that was seedling one. What is seedling two have to show us? That's Galopolis. That is a hammer. It's a big hammer. of that hammer I did yeah was it just me or did it seem special somehow no nah, it's just your regular sledgehammer I'm sure it has no value at all that's why we're getting visions I'm being really weapon, snippy today a, a forging hammer if I'm not mistaken but what were they forging really are forging hammers that big? Because I've got a really small one for my fun-sized forge. Then again, it is a fun-sized forge, so maybe that's why. I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were, at least, don't we? Yep. Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. So, to recap so far, we found... Er, Erdwin and his team found a shiny rock, a forging hammer... And then a third thing happened. Gee, I, I wonder... I wonder what they might be trying to tell us. Also, I mean, someone more familiar with actual blacksmithing? Do you think, uh... Forging hammers need to be that massive? Ah, forged in the power of friendship. And a volcano, apparently. I know that view. I'm sure of it. You do? So, if I understand what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. Maybe it's Mount Huji? Wait, of course. The Sword of Light. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Well, duh. Obviously, that would be yes, suicide. That's we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. But Mordigan took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need to... Forge the Sword of Light, yes. Thank you for crossing the finish line. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> We need to make our own sword of light, just like the old heroes did. Can we make it a great sword of light? Because I really don't want to use a basic sword, if I can help it. Please. All Pretty right. please. We've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Yeah. Let's start by paying we'll it. visit to the places we saw in those visions. I'm betting we'll find some more clues there. So where do you find rock? It looked like they found that ore and another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. All right, well that one's easy. That was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. And his son does still owe us a favor. Oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Ah, I was right. Uh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and uh, wherever that other island happens to be. Well, I mean, Rab, if we want to do it in the order that we saw the visions, we're going to have to go to that floating island first. So floating island, Galopolis, Hotto. I mean, it's kind of 
an unnecessary point to go to Hodo if I don't have the ore and the hammer. It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. You'll be with us in spirit. I God damn it. <laughs> Giant hammer for small sword? How does that make any sense? Let's go to work. <clears throat> big hammer must equal big sword. It must. Please. You find Luminary? Can you speak? I did. I'm taking the guiding light from this temple and making a sword, apparently. Draco explains everything he and his companion saw. Alright, let's go craft the Master Sword. I mean, the Sword of Light. I mean, if the battleground was in the right place. Mine was there. Mine, a great oars. Great powers fought for oars. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took oars. No oar. No more. Perhaps. Well, if there's no more oar there, then this is kind of a completely destroyed quest, isn't it? Perhaps. Well, it can't be hard to go into the look now, can it? Come on, you lot. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. It's our best lead so far. If you forget purpose, if you need clues, come to me. Tales from Grandfather may help. Watcher, I appreciate the offer, but I think we got this. Thanks, little buddy. All right, then. We're off to the next grand adventure, to Battleground Floating Island, Havens Above. Ha, <laughs> didn't notice that before. Looks like Draco can summon Cetacea from here. Play the Calamus Flute? Yes! Ooh, we even get a little cutscene here. Away we go! We really are. I mean, Elferet, at this point, it's our best option. I know there's a lot of perhaps going on here, but, uh... I mean, we don't really have a whole world of options here. What the fuck? What is that? I think that's... Is that Galopolis? Yeah, that's Galopolis. And if I wanted to land right there, we'd be relatively close to it. That's good to know. I overshot my uh, destination, though, it seems. And that looks like Gondolia down there. This is kind of cool. I like this. Being able to see the world you've traveled underneath you. There's Puerto Valor. Here's our mysterious battleground, mine place. It's almost there. The battleground. Nope, none around this particular spot. A mysterious object looks almost like some kind of giant candlestick. Sure, I'll light it with the guiding light. Why not? I 
And then Draco said, let there be light! And lo, there was! Man, it would have been real awkward if we didn't have the guiding light when we came here. Oh, that's neat. The area where we can call set a sea again is marked with a luminary symbol. That's cool. Wait, did I? Okay, I thought I saw a blue sparkling spot, but I guess that was my imagination. Ah, now there's a blue sparkling spot. Some Dracolite. Or Dracolite, if you will. Man, I didn't even know I had a mineral named after me. What are the odds? Hello there. How's it going, buddy? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna end your life! <laughs> a lethal armor. Ah, oh, he's too stunned to move. No one expects that. I probably didn't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, let's do a nice unbridled blade on him. Oh, well, that was a waste of MP on Eric's part. Didn't realize he was so squishy. I mean, you see something called Lethal Knight, you expect it to be a bit more uh, resilient than a single strike, but uh, here we are. Okay, what's in this hallway? Oh, look at this little impy guy. Goodness. Smog bonnets. I honestly thought it said smog boners for a second, and I was very concerned. Uh, you know... Hmm... Big Bang, there's a lot of enemies. That's only 10 MP, sure. Oh, he lived. I honestly wasn't expecting that. All right, how about a nice Zamel for it? Actually, a Zam probably would have done it if I'm trying to serve MP. Oh, well. Okay. Well, there's another Smog Bonnet. But what lies over this way? Hmm. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Part of me wants to go, but there's still more area up. Fuck it. Oh, hello. <laughs> huh. Gentlemen. Oh, you're really cunning for me, huh? Listen, I'll deal with you in a second there, Chief. I'm just here to explore right now. I'll deal with you. Aha! Treasure! A mini metal! Heck yeah! Worth it. Hey, you're a new enemy, why not? I think the red dragon was too, but... Eh. An armful. Ha! <laughs> I'll say. How many arms you got? Six? Ow. You have six arms and you hit me once? Not that I'm complaining, I just find it strange is all. Okay, Quad, just slash fuck it. <laughs> I don't know about all you, but if I had six arms, I'd probably use more than one attack in one move. Is all I'm saying. And stay down. Ooh. I forget what we were doing with you. Oh, right, he got full heal. Nice. Okay, so Rab, what were we doing again on your side of magical mending and moderate MP recovery after battle? I think I'm going to do that one first because it costs more points, and then I'm going to grab that. There we go. 
As young as you feel! Awarded for activating 20 of Rab's skill panels. Very nice. I really don't want to go into claws, but I'm curious what that is. But I'm going to grab that next, and then we're going to go into buffing his MP damage. Or MP damage, his magical might, as it were. Yeah. What the heck? I thought I heard something vibrating. Eh, fuck it. Let's battle the dragon. Yeah. Like an undead General Grievous. I don't think these things will survive, but... Oh, wait, it was an Evangel Lizard. We battled them. Eh, fuck it. Let's divide. And if enough live, we can bully it into extinction. Will it live? Or was that a waste of MP? Well. You motherfucker! You actually inhibited someone that needs spellcraft! I'm gonna destroy you for that! I don't care how much MP it costs. Fuck you! Alright, well, that happened. So... Yeah, I guess we'll go... Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Don't mind me. I'll go down that, like, narrow pathway. Just to see what lies on the other side. Oh, it's going to be another falling part. But there's still places to explore up high. I can't be falling down into other places. Wait, what? It, it is going... Yeah, no, there's no bottom there. I just can't really see what's down there. No, I I'm putting my foot down. I say no! We've got shit to explore in other places! I will come back to you! We're almost near the bottom, it looks like. Wait, hold on. So, like, if I went a little further south, I would hit that. And then we hit the other thing. No, we're gonna go upstairs first. And that's where we fell down. I don't think we explored this hole. Or we did. And maybe I did explore everything that I could have. Unless... No, wait, you know what it was? We didn't explore this one. Or... wait... It looks like there should be something right here. But I'm not seeing a... Huh. How do I get up there? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. And this is back up at the top. Hmm. I'm sure we will find a way up there somehow. Okay. And then... I could just go down normally. Aha! I don't see any other treasure chest, so let's see what's behind Sparkly Bit. Densinium! And then it's just the areas we've already explored. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose I could go down the, uh... Down the hole.
just to see where that hole leads. All right. Just mind your own damn business, Bonnets. You know, you didn't have to do that. Ooh, an encyclopedia of expert equipment. Ogre shields, brigands mitts, and titan belts. Bye. <laughs> okay, so now if I go this away. Is that a. No, I think that's just moss. What is over this way? I thought I, it was a target at first, but I don't think it is. Ooh, Mithril Ore. Well, that's probably not the ore we're looking for, but uh, I'll take it. Or any of the other neat stuff I could make. Huh. Is there really nothing here except for a cool overlook? I can't even actually look out? I guess not. I mean, I could battle these creatures, see if they have any interesting they drop. You jerk. Alright, let's go back up the floor and see where if I drop down that hole where it'll lead. It's probably just gonna lead to one of those rooms, but... I mean... I have to know. I have to know where that hole did go. Because if I don't, then I'll never know. Eh, screw it. We'll go the long way. Although maybe it's equidistant now that I think about it. Because I would just have to climb up. So, let us go down the hole. Whee! That was quite a fall. Uh -huh. Alright then. That actually took me all the way down, it looks like. What are you, in the naughty corner? Oh, you're guarding a chest. Hmm. Well, I know they won't live through everyone else, so... Wow. Boom! You motherfucker! You just blocked Rab off from doing shit! How fucking dare! Hmm. It's only the user's MP. Yeah, Crackle hits everything. Got him! Did I do all right? Ooh. Nice. Ah, what were we doing with Eric? Right, I was gonna get sticky fingers to go up this way for critical claim. I don't really care about regular sword based. And at some point, I really need to get Starburst Throw. But I also want to get that to see what this is. Attack on all enemies with a pair of boomerangs that make them more susceptible to status ailments. Neat. Oh, we're so close. The Burgeoning Bandit, awarded for 20 of Eric's skill panels. If I do that, I already get access to that. So maybe I'll do that instead of the dodge chance. Although dodge chance is really good. But if I do that, I get to see what the middle panel, the mystery panel is. Could be anything. Could even be a dodge chance up. And it was a mimic. That dragon was guarding a mimic. That's some bullshit right there, if I've ever fucking seen it. 
Oh man, a dragon is guarding this chest. It must be, and it's a mimic. And it's bit my hand. And I fucking hate you. Ow, that... What the fuck? Okay, no, you get bullied. Die, Pandora's box! I mean, he did just get full heal. You get nothing! Good day, sir! Exorsplosion. At some point, I'm gonna do Exorsplosion, but... Let me see, what do we want to do here? I can do a flat frizzle. Let's be stupid gross. <laughs> Fuck you, box. <sighs> if this doesn't kill it, I'm going to kill it with Eric. As much as I would love to build up, I don't want to take the risk. I could take the risk of doing Divide, but... Fuck it. Ha! Got him! Hey, good for Jade. What were we doing with you again? Was I going further in the allure tree, or grabbing blow kiss, or the resilience? I think I'm gonna grab the resilience. And then we'll grab blow kiss to see what that is. Oh right, can opener. I forgot that was a thing I could have grabbed at some point. Should probably go back down there and deal with that. But first things first, we're continuing through the allure tree. Right, I was going to go for Pink Typhoon, I remember now. Oh, well. We'll get the mystery thing first. Ooh. Ooh, a seed of skill. All right, who needs that the most? Who's, like, on the verge? Well, I can tell you who isn't. Me. <laughs> Omni heal is very nice. Charm is useful. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could give it to myself. What about Serena? She's got three points, and I forget what we were doing with you. Well, we're not doing that anytime soon. And that one was 40 for a pep chance boost. Yeesh. Think we're going through heavy wands? Yes. There's so many ridiculous fucking amount of points needed for stuff. Hmm. I want to branch into whip slightly. I could get whatever this is in the harpist tree. And then there's this in spears. So I would have to dip into the spears tree a bit more. I mean, I could get cattle prod now. Eh. And for Hendrick, we needed... Blind man's biff next. I think I'll give the seed to myself. On looking through everyone. That looks so cool. Dracolite. Well, I'd say that was worth it.
Ooh, a Brighton Rock, a Red Eye, another Brighton Rock. And out of pure curiosity, this just leads us back to... Yep. Okay, so yeah, we were gonna be at the bottom anyways. So with that said and done... Ooh! A sunny citrine. And a yellow eye. And there's that, which we'll look at. But first things first, I need a dragon mount. Let's get our boomerangs back out. A dragoneer. Oh, hey, I have 69 MP. Nice. All right. I see how it is. Got him. I didn't realize Serena was so low. So what are we naming this dragon? I want a candy heal. There we go. That's better. It's a purple dragon. Well, I figured out how we get to that one area. Okay, so we want to go this way. Aha! And what I win is some mithril ore for my troubles. And that was all it was worth. Well, that's kind of lame. Oh, am I going to have to just... Yep, going down. There we go. An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks as if it was left by the Watchers. I like Donovan. Watchers float up... Uh, actually... <clears throat> Watchers float above world. Watch. Protect. This island is home. Here from beginning. Not just home to Watchers. Home to Ore. Special Ore. Or Banished Darkness. Ah, the Master Ore, if you will. Come, Donovan. Oh, no! No, Donovan, I have to leave you behind! Donovan, just keep guard here. I'll be back, I promise. But if I rest, that might make him go away. But... I just got some stuff. Oh, that was a flower. <sighs> Fuck it. I need to rest anyway. Alright. Man, I can't believe there's not a merchant on this sky island. Who would have thought? Ooh! Kaquadra Bash! A double strength strike over a set of squares in a 2x2 two two arrangement. Fantastic for forging larger items, I'll say. K -k -k cold Blow! K -k cold Blow is a blast of bitter air that brings temperature down by 300 degrees. Best used when you want to start making more precise strikes. Interesting! I mean... I'm going to try again now that I have all these new skills. Alright. So, first the Sizzly Puff. Follow that up with Kaquadra Bash.
Fuck you. There. A nice little lightning bash over here. How about... Not double-edged. Although... No, yeah, double-edged. And a regular bash here. I'll follow that up with the double whammy over... Triple whammy over here. Beautiful. A double whammy down here. Regular bash. Oh boy, we're running out. I'm probably not going to have enough. Well, I think I got enough. Oh, please tell me that's good enough. Yes, it's good enough! We did it! Well, it's not a plus three, but I will take a plus anything. A plus one. <laughs> I'll take it. If I just had a little bit more focus, I probably could have gotten that higher. You're also a three, huh? Oh, boy. Is there... I mean, I could work the warlock. Hmm, yeah, that's an option. I can't do the pentarang because I don't have enough pearls for it. Same with the Corsair set. Alright, so let's see. Is there anything unique and fun that I want to make? A Fenrir Fang? That one isn't worth it. Here yeah, right. I well let's let's take a tour first. The Fenrir Fang is definitely high on our list of potential creating things. The full fathom fork. Okay. Uh, nothing in whips, nothing in claws. The avalanche axe could also be worth it. Hmm. Hmm. But I think the avalanche axe uses stuff that is also used by... Well, I've got two savvy sapphires. I should, in theory, be able to make both. Let's test. Wow, that does not do a lot at all. Oh, jeez. Okay. Dare I? Well, it says it'll turn out really well, so who am I to disagree? Plus two. All right. Now, do I want this? I mean, I don't have anyone using spears right now. I'd be making it for the sole sake of making it, and that's it. Well, with the axe, I can't make it because I used all my ice crystals. Womp womp. Well, guess we're making that spear then. At least this one isn't nearly as difficult as the other things. Alright, so let's start with a nice sizzle. And we're gonna do, let's say, double edge. Mmm. <sighs> 
Uh, well, that fucked that one up. Oh, well, that fixed it. Thank you. Hmm. I'm going to regret this decision, but here we go. Got it! And it's a plus three. Perfection. Bum, 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 bum. Excellent. All right, let's look through our armors here. I could make ethereal shields, but who on our team is really using shields at the moment? I don't think anybody. I'd be making it solely to sell it. Hats. Uh, let's see. I already made that. Helmets could make a mithril helm. I suppose I could put that on Hendrik, because he doesn't have any cosmetic gear at the moment. Okay. We look at clothes. We've got the twinkling tuxedo. For the glad rags, I need a lot of shit I don't have, apparently. Cool. Well, I know where to get a love potion. But the lamb's wool and the ruby are the one things that are holding us up. For that one. Dragon mail. Okay, so nothing that's really wowing me at the moment. Okay. You just got a new set of gloves, right? Wasn't the Guru's gloves? Uh, Mittens made the style of a pair of. Once well-loved by an ancient sage. But there's nothing neat, it's just... It's solely, uh... Stats. Okay. The Brigand's Mitts, which, um... Is a better version of the Robber's Mitts. But I have to use my one Lamb's Wool. A uh, rough... Rough gloves used by rough characters when rough people up that increase deafness by a decent amount. Fine, I'll do it. But at some point, I gotta get the rest of Sylvando's kit. Sizzly poof. Yeah, that would be dumb. Oh boy. Well, that sucks. How about a nice triple wham up here? I'm gonna do it again! Perfect. And yeah, I can just touch that up ever so. How much is it for the cold blow? It's not worth it. There we go. Let's see how we did. I'll take a plus two. All right, what else we got? Rework in time. I'm not going to do the Lord Sword again. We just did that. I would like to get the Pentarang up, just to get that to plus three as well. I almost have Eric fully uh, boosted to plus three on all his equipment. It's almost like I have uh, playing favorites here. Got 
dick. <laughs> um. That'll work. Oh, why couldn't that one heal? Hey, it did! Thanks, game! Let's do a nice double. Perfect! I think we got a plus three out of that. Perfection! Hey, I appreciate it. If it wants to give me a mulligan, I will absolutely take it. Alright, do I want to... I should probably start working on Serena's stuff, honestly. Although, Eric does have his Corsair set that we just got and I don't have the pearls for. Okay, my decision has just been made for me. So what are we buffing for her? Uh, I could buff the Happy Hat. Or I could do her weapon first, the Magma Staff. Magma Staff is going to be rough, but let's give it a try. Okay. Give it a nice sizzly poof. Wow, that worked out spectacularly. Oh ho! Okay. I think a standard bash will do us here. Next strike is halved, you say. There we go. Fuck it, let's go. Yeah! I'll take it. I could probably have done some precision hits there at the end, but... I don't want to take the risk. I'll just get the plus one. Oh! I did better than I thought. I honestly thought that was only going to be, you know, plus one material, but damn. Honey, this place is just enormous. It's like a whole mountain's ended up in the sky. One day, someone will have to explain to me how places like this and Yggdrasil managed to float. It's probably magnetism or something. Like, the magnetic pull of this island and Yggdrasil's island are, like, a same equally repellent force to the Earth's, well, Erdria's magnetic core. And as such, they repel each other, but not enough to the point where they go too far from each other. So this is where our Watcher Pal told us there was a big battle for control of this precious ore, right? Well, let's hope they didn't trash it all, and that there's enough left for for- Ah, uh, la. Enough left to forge a sword. Come on, Draco, let's see what we can dig up. Where did you get this stool, Hendrik? Seriously. Like, we've got people sitting on barrel- Where did Jade get that barrel now that I think about it? I mean, are we just carrying that barrel around with us in your stool? Wait. Hold on. Serena also has a stool that she's put on a mat. Huh. It seems a fierce battle was fought here in ancient times. I mean, you can hardly tell. This place doesn't look all that battle-worn. It's easy to credit. Though it was, a lo it was long ago, the spirits of the fallen still appear to haunt this place. You did it, Draco! The Guiding Light got rid of the horrible fog that covered this place. I'm still sensing something evil around here, though. We'd best take care. The ore here must be something very special. 
If entire armies fought for control of this place... Suppose the stuff used to forge the Sword of Light was never going to be just regular old ore, was it? Yeah, wouldn't that be awkward? If it just was able to be forged of regular steel. Our wee pal told us that all of the ore might have been taken from the battle they had up here. Yeah, Bumble. Had up here. It is hoping there's a little bit left for us, eh? Come on, let's get hunting. All right. Well, only one way to go. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Just gonna pick up those molten got. <sighs> You're very rude, you know that? Armful. Here I was, gonna read the next bit of lore, and you had to go and ruin everything. You, you wrecker, you ruiner. Now, excuse me, I'm gonna equip this new weapon I have. And this weapon. And I'm gonna stab you a bunch. Well, slash. No, no, yes, yeah, stab. This one is a stab. Ooh, a crit spell! And an echo! Nice! Oh no! I've been paralyzed! And so is Eric, apparently. Uh-oh. No! You stop that! See, now he's doing what I would expect an enemy with multiple arms to do. Just in time to die! No bones about it. An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks as if it was left by the Watchers. Island not just home to Watchers. Home to Ore. Special Ore. Ore to banish darkness. Ore makes special weapon. Weapon to restore hope. Weapon to save all of Erdria. Well, that's kind of redundant. Similar to the one upstairs, but that's fine. You know, if you think about it... There being a battle for this ore doesn't really make a lot of sense. It makes a weapon specifically for fighting off evil. So if that's the case, why is it be so sought after? Like, people that would commit crime... Well, we don't know that there were war crimes to commit, I guess. Perhaps people just fought over because they really wanted a weapon to kill evil with. Maybe I'm just being too judgy here. That's possible, I suppose. Wait a damn second. So I came from, like, that section. I can't get through there because there's a wall. Man, this place is pretty damn huge, huh? Oh, hold on. More lore. They came. Monsters serving Dark One came to steal ore. Fierce battle. Watchers fought monsters. Much bloodshed. Much sacrifice. Peaceful land ruined. Now known only as Battleground. So it was Mordigan's army that wanted the ore. Why would... I mean, I guess them wanting the ore does make some sort of sense. Because they wouldn't want other people to make a weapon that could destroy them. So by stealing the ore for themselves, it makes it so other people can't make the weapon. Ooh! Sacred styles for saintly ladies! The goddess tiaras and saintess dresses. I don't believe those are cosmetic items. But I suppose they could be. That's just something I'll have to check. What I win? A purple eye, a green eye, and a chunk of mirror stone. Madam? Excuse me? What are you doing here? How did you even get here? 
Hello there, handsome. Fancy a quick puff puff? How did you get here? Yes, but how? <laughs> right this way, sweetheart. As far as I know, I'm the only person with a flying anything. Fuck. I'm so confused. Madam? Are you ready? As I'll ever be? Alright, close your eyes and we'll get started. <laughs> Don't be nervous now. Just relax. This one has voice acting. I'm scared. Oh, you're so muscly. <laughs> Let me work out these knots. Does that feel good? You'll tell me if it hurts, won't you? She's a monster, isn't she? Okay, all done. You can open your eyes now. Madam? Uh, oh, uh, I don't know if I'm into this. I guess it's too late now. Oh, we're going bungee jumping. Time to take the plunge, darling. What? I'm so confused. I would like an opt out. What? I don't think this is what that's supposed to be. How does any of this equal a puff buff? What? Oh, I'm getting dipped in clouds. Okay. Huh. <laughs> See, Elfred, this is why you gotta stay around. You never know when I'll suddenly go bungee jumping. How was that? Felt like heaven, right? That's what I call the Puff Puff of Paradise. Come back whenever you want to give it another go. I'll be waiting. That still doesn't answer how you even got up here, madam. I got up here with a Sky Whale. Do you have a Sky Whale? There's so many questions left unanswered by that sequence of events. And I really want to know the answers. You know what? No one would blame you for thinking it was something else. Equitable Emerald. Ooh. A blue eye and... You know, if I put in that skeleton, I'd have a blue eyes white dragon. Well, a yellow dragon. An Agite of Evolution. Neat. Yeah, I had a feeling it was going to build itself. Uh-oh. Jeez! How rude. Where's my... There's my pentarang. There's not really a whole lot I could do, so... Dragon zombie. Ha! Ah, quit it! And I've got Omni Heal. I could do that, but alternatively, I could make my giant sword destroy the battlefield. Rab, I'm gonna need you to full heal Serena. Thanks, Rab. Why does Fenrir have to be all the way in the back? Seriously. What the dickens? You, you lived. Okay, that's fine. I'll take you out with this one. Thank goodness. 
Ooh. Thunderball. And let's do a nice handy heal. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to ignore the other ones because I don't feel like getting my ass handed to me. Ah, go away! No one was here. Just collapse onto the ground. Oh. Man, if only I had a fucking key! <laughs> if I get that key, I'm going to have to remember where every single one of those locked doors are. Hmm. Well, I know where this leads. Yep, exactly as I thought. Aha! Treasure chest I couldn't get before. A chrono crystal! Man, I wish there was some way I could make this wall collapse. That'd be very handy. Eh. What's over yonder way? Well, that's the way we want to go. A Densinium, more Densinium, and a Thunderball. How a Thunderball ends up in crystals, I don't know, but we'll take it. A Brain Drainer? Question? Brain Drainer. What do... Well, I mean, I imagine it would drain your brain, but... Um, oh right, I made those trickster gloves, but, let me see, or the brigand's gloves, so deafness and defense would go up, but he would lose his evasion chance and he would lose his charm, we don't really care about charm, but that evasion chance is a tragedy, if I get rid of the angel sandals, it only boosts agility, what would that put us at? Damn, that's a massive loss. One, two... He loses 30 points of agility to gain 34 points of deafness. And then six points, eight points. I'd say that's worth it in the grand scheme. Shame to lose the agility, but uh, I'd say the brigand's mitts are good. Give him the metal slime armor, but I'm not gonna, because that changes cosmetic outfit. No, sir. In this house, we enjoy cosmetic outfits. And they are valued over stat points. We play fashion souls in this house. Even though this isn't a souls game, I'm still using the term. Oh, those are mushrooms. I'm not sure what I thought they were. All right. Well, time to head on up a little bit, I suppose. That was just a rock formation. I thought I saw a corpse. Gonna... Let me go around the enemies. That I could be fighting, admittedly, but, uh, there's exploration to be had. I don't know about all of you, but, like, as much as I like the battle system in this game, I find that if I'm exploring a place, I would much rather explore it than do battles. Hmm. It's just, I want to see where all the treasure is. A gold nugget. No, I'm sorry, nuglet. All right, vicious killing machine, let's go. That's a new one. 
Uh, let's see. Killing machine and overkilling machine. Hmm. Ah. You know what? This seems like a pearly gate scenario. Oh, the lightning. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not giving them the chance to fucking do crazy shit that I'm sure they have. Hendrick with a level. I think he needs to be 12 skill points. Oh, there's an overkilling machine. Give, 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 give. Mine. Gold nugget. Bye. Ooh. A bad axe. Well, I mean, if it's bad, why would I equip it? Oh, that's why. A clever cleaver that can turn the tide of battle by impairing the attack power of anyone it hits. Ooh. Cool. See, and it buffs attack, max MP, and charm. Damn, dude. My, what a lovely view. I'm like a sea of clouds. Hmm. There's a thought. Uh, hmm. But what, pray tell? Oh, it, it's all the same place. <laughs> So, I've been thinking. I did not mean to hit that, but I guess we did. So, we'll battle these soot bo uh, bonces. Soot bonces. And as I was just saying, so I've been thinking about what I'm going to be doing a stream of after Super Paper Mario and this game are done. And one of the ideas I came up with was to go through the Legend of Zelda timeline, as it were. Because I have the HD remake for Switch. And, I mean, Skyward Sword's a very important game to me because it was my very first Let's Play that I ever did on my YouTube channel. So it has a special place in my heart as being one of the very first well, being literally the first game I ever did, so it'd be important. It'd be a fun thing to go through the HD version of it as a stream, sort of going into the new, well, the new way of things. This is a interesting path. Hmm. And then after we finish Skyward Sword, moving down the timeline. The only games I'm not super willing to play on the timeline are the original Legend of Zelda and Link's Adventure, because I feel like, I, well, one, I haven't played those games before. Two, I mean, maybe I could find an emulator for them, but they never really looked all that interesting to me. But I'd definitely be willing to play through every other timeline, and it would end at Breath of the Wild, which I have never completed. Anyway. An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks as if it was left by the Watchers. Erdria was at peace. But then, disaster. Dark One came. Hope turned to despair. Gross. Only Luminary can defeat him. And only with Sword. Sword of Precious Ore. Why, yes. We know. Wait a ding-dang tick. Oh no, it'd be higher up the path. So yeah, we're we're going this way. Go 
Go, go, go. Ooh, an artful amethyst. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. Oh, wait. Mm. That's a different place, though. Is that where we need to go? I'm worried that I just went the plot way. I'm very certain I went the plot way. Yeah, this is the plot way. Let's ignore plot for a second. There's other pathways to explore. And I can always come back here. Now what's over yonder way? Well, I can always pick this up. Savvy Sapphire. Ah. So I'm gonna need a way to traverse over those pathways. Uh, if only Donovan were here, he would know what to do. He would have wings to fly us over. But we might just get him back. I, I'm sorry. That's treasure. You! Give me your dragon! Uh-oh. I don't like how you have allies. You stop that. Reign of pain? Ah! No! There we go, that's better. So Quadra Slash. Well, I killed the guy with the dragon so I can get my dragon mount. Get, oh, you, you both lived. Yeah, kill the overkilling machine. And this should be the finishing glow. Did I do all right? You sure did. We got Donovan back. All right. So what did I win from here? The mithril or? or I guess we bumped into an overkilling machine. Really? Really? Please don't. Ah! Got him. Oh, never mind. I was so convinced I got him. One more try. There we go. Got him. Just a little too soon on that. All right. Very nice. Next order of business is to fly over this way. Because this is where that treasure chest I what saw was. Or I'm horribly, horribly wrong. It was like right over here. 
I'm just, yeah, I'm just going back to the same friggin' area. Okay. It's higher up, clearly. There we go. Now, this is where that treasure chest was. Yes, hello. Just wanted to open the damn treasure chest. It's all I wanted. But no. No, killing... Overkilling machine had to fall from the fucking ceiling directly on top of it so I couldn't open it properly. Jerk. That was a weird camera angle. Are you done yet? Because I'd like to quadra slash and end your existence. Well, I killed one of them. Only 54. Well, got two hits in, so that was good. Zamel. Okay. I'm sick of your bullshit killing me over killing machine. There, he's dead. We killed the killing machine. Over killing machine. Ooh, brace yourself. Life bracers, mighty armlets, and brainy bracers. Spirit bracers and restoratives. Oh wait, that's right. Where's the brain drain thing I got? Fuck it, let's just look in the equipment bag. Brain drainer. An otherworldly shield that can erect a barrier capable of blocking incoming spells. Neat. But no one on our team uses shields. Oh, wait. Hendrik. Hendrik uses shields. I done forgot. <laughs> but I mean, the shield of Heliodor is so symbolic. I feel like it would. it is not worth it to even use it. But let's look at it just to see it. That's neat looking. It's a very nice design. Now to put the shield of Heliodor back on. So, plus 10 and can block incoming spells. But he loses the block chance and he loses his charm. And charm isn't that great on him, but still, I like the shield of Heliodor. It is a symbol of his homeland and I refuse to get rid of it. For the same reason I don't get rid of cosmetic gear. All right, Donovan, you've been a massive help. But unfortunately, I must leave you behind, as I have ore to find, that I've technically already found, but still. Ah! All right. And so our journey for the ore is at an end, as we have found it in this cave back here what we just found a little while ago. Well, eventually we'll make that spot. <laughs> Nothing in here. Except for that little bit of rock. Okay, you know, given the amount of rock, maybe I understand. You have got to be kidding me. Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's Oricalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? I'm guessing a lot. Oricalcum. Usually is. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world! I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big! The problem with that, Eric, is we need to make it into a sort of ultimate power. So, unfortunately, we can't sell it. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. 
agreed. If we can find any other ore, though, we can sell it. But we're probably not going to find any other ore. <laughs> Draco acquires a lump of orichalcum. So, you know, admittedly, like I said, considering the size of the ore we got, maybe I can understand us not being able to make a great sword out of it, but still really want to make a great sword out of it. Alright, let's hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Evac! So next, we must go to Galopolos. You know, I probably could have just hit Zoom instead of Evac. I could have. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Like, here's the other thing I'm thinking. So, like, I could have used uh, Cetacea to fly to the spot that's near Galopolos. But I also have access to fast travel, so why wouldn't I just use the fast travel? I mean, it's the difference of going between one loading screen or two. Just for the sake of flying on the flying whale, which is very pretty and all, but... You gotta think about, uh, you know, movement options and time. Alright. To the Sultan! Kick down the door. How many national treasures does this place have? Because that hammer is bound to be one, yeah? And they had the Rainbow, which they sold. Is there something I can help you with, Lord Robert? As a matter of fact, there is. I need to pick your brains about a giant hammer that's supposed to be kept here in Galopolis. We're going to need it to defeat Mordigan. And apparently, you lot have had it since the Age of Heroes. Hmm. A giant hammer, you say? Ah, yes! You mean the forging hammer? It has been in the royal family for generations. Man, they uh they really went creative with the name of the forging hammer, huh? This hammer is used to forge things. What do we call it? Forging hammer. Ferris, fetch the forging hammer from the treasure room. <laughs> there Ferris goes. I mean, you could probably use it as a weapon, too. Do you truly intend to give the hammer away? We had intended to sell it in order to fund this year's San Nacional. Ferris! Fucking Ferris! Seriously? Insolent boy. So were your national treasures just for selling? Is that it? <coughs> the forging hammer is one of Galopolis' greatest treasures. It has been handed down through the generations since time immemorial. And we were planning to sell it for the Sand National so we could race horses again. Like we did with the Rainbow. But you know, this seems important. But if <laughs> we must relinquish it, then so be it. You are the only ones who can defeat the Lord of Shadows. If you need it, it is yours. I'm gonna be real with you, Sultan. After hearing what I just heard, we're probably not giving this back to you. Draco receives the forging hammer. My nurse once told me that the power of the spirit of the land resides within the forging hammer. Neat! It is said that it can beat even. 
even the hardest of metals into shape. At least, I think that is how the story goes. Neat. Well, I hope it helps you on your quest. Best of luck, dear friends. I shall be expecting good news. Oh, you'll get it, Ferris. And again, I am not letting you guys have this hammer ever again, because you clearly cannot be trusted with it. I mean, you hadn't sold it yet, but you were clearly planning on it. <laughs> um, would Hodo Steep be closer, or would Hodo? I think the Steep is closer. Actually, wait, we might have had to go to Hodo anyway, because we might need permission from somebody to actually go up there. Well, yeah, we're closer to Mount Huji for sure. Oh, boy. Made it! And around. Yep, up the mountain. And I'm pretty sure it's the forbidden entry area. Excuse me, gentlemen. Well, I get the feeling I need to go to Hodo first. This is awkward. needed to talk to a person about unlocking the volcano, who would that be? The future is ours. Through our lead, uh, though our leader may be gone, our lives must go on. We owe you so much. Your deeds will live in legend. We shall not forget. So you seek a forge hidden in the heart of the mountain, hidden from our eyes? I cannot help you. But there is one who might know, Mistress Miko's maid. Ah, then up the mountain we go. Is this on a mountain? I feel like it's a mountain, or it's a very hilly area to say the least. So is Miko's maid, air quotes, just the de facto leader for the time? She's in the back, right? Excuse me. Ma'am? There you are. We are in your debt. You did more than save our lives. You saved poor Ryu's soul. I must repay you. Do you have something to ask? Something I may know? Yes. Draco asks if Miko's maid knows anything about the legendary forge of Mount Fuji. A childhood fable, the tale of a sacred forge, words half forgotten. The volcano's peak, a flame cast in its crater, the forge born again. But none may go there, a place not on any map, entry forbidden. Until now at least, take this gift, honored savior. Destiny awaits. Draco receives the crucible key. A locked door awaits. Beyond it, the sacred forge untouched for aeons. 
Now, we must go. Sword ain't gonna craft itself, after all. Do I wanna... What would be faster? Zooming there? Or running there? Because we'd go to the steep and go back, which is we've just already seen closer, but... I mean, I'm already down here. I might as well just run. Oh, well. Alright, so now... Cross the bridge. Up the mountain. Probably should have realized that we weren't going to be able to get up there. Ah, well. I don't know what I was expecting. It's called Entry Forbidden. We didn't have a key. No more lava lumps here. Now, now I'm thinking about it. I guess I don't really need the avalanche axe anymore. Considering I now have the bad axe. I was thinking about maybe looking up where I can get the snow crystals, but eh. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Where could this be? Well, this sure is where the magma's gathering in the volcano. Alright, Guiding Light, what can you tell me? The Guiding Light is pulsing strangely. All for it to the volcano? Sure. What if this was the wrong move? Oh, he's not just going to drop it in. He's just holding it up. Okay. So I was going to say, imagine if he just threw it into the volcano. <laughs> What's happening? Um, your guess is as good as mine. Uh-oh. Did I just cause the volcano to erupt? Did I just kill us all and the people of Hodo? Oh. Nope, I formed a bridge. And here's the forge. Oh, it's beautiful. This is the place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. What are we waiting for? Let's make a new sword of light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry I don't sound as enthused, but I know we're going to have to make it a very specific way. <sighs> and I know I'm griping about this a lot, but, you know, I figure you're making your own sword of light. Why couldn't you just make it however you wanted it to be? Make it unique, your own, is all I'm saying. A great power emanates from within. This certainly seems like a place where a legendary sword could be forged. Use the forging hammer to work the auric halcum and make a new sword of light? Nah, I've decided I don't want to save the day. Figure I'll just go fuck off somewhere. It's sure a good thing that I've been forging with the fun-sized forge all this time. Amazing how that rock became this sword. Blue rock make iron sword. I'll 
take it from here. All right. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not about to let you <laughs> steal all the glory, honey. If you get to have a go, we all do. Yeah. We'll take shifts. This will be our sword, a sword forged in friendship. And besides, we saw in the vision that the old heroes all had a bash. We'd best follow the lead, eh? Yep, we're all in this together. May the new sword of light be tempered by the resolve of all those who would drive darkness from this world. Yeah! It's a really big hammer. I really hope Serena's gonna be able to lift it. That thing probably weighs like, I don't know, a hundred pounds at minimum. It's probably like fucking five hundred pounds. If I hadn't met you, I'd never have been able to save Mia and make things right. Now it's my turn to help you. Eric, you have helped me so much throughout this entire game. <laughs> Let's get this sword made and the world saved. I've got people to entertain and a promise to my puppy to keep. <laughs> yeah, damn straight. I love how artistic that smack was from him. Always a showman. Oh, up up rab. Actually impressed Rab was able to lift it. I thought it was my job to stand behind the luminary. It's not. I'm supposed to stand beside him. We all are. Yeah. I hereby pledge as a knight of Heliodor to fight to the end for the cause of the luminary. May I be his sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. Fuck yeah, Hendrik. And yes, Silvando is the strongest who can just sort of wield the hammer like a feather. But are we really surprised? Veronica, I promise to finish this without you. I'm stronger now, thanks to you. For the luminary. Damn it, Serena. Ah! All right, time for me to do the lion's share of the work. find out pick that thing up and give it a swing it does seem like something is uh missing huh ah there we go that's what was needed just the right bit of touch to awaken its latent energies That's the sort of light we know. By the power of Grayskull! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Draco acquires the Sword of Light! the sword of light the time to face the lord of shadows is at hand what he said let's finish this can we do that though I mean there was a barrier around his place it's finally time Draco we're finally going to do it 
Let's use the Calamus Flute to summon Cetacea. She'll be able to take us to the Fortress of Fear, I'm sure of it. Ready as we'll ever be. Awarded for reforging the Sword of Light with the help of your friends, and setting out with it to see the Lord of Shadows toppled. Just gonna, real quick, look at our important items here. One, two, three, four. I feel like there's a lot more of those orbs that we're uh, missing at the moment. But, uh... Oh well. Out of pure and utter curiosity. Let's see if we can just waltz on in to his uh, castle or if there's something we need to do. Well, I guess we uh, we're making that into the wee hours of the day. An oppressive barrier surrounds the Fortress of Fear. It isn't possible to get any closer. Use a sword of light to destroy the barrier? It was that easy, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Bullshit luminary powers activate! Protagonist powers, go! Knock, knock, Mordigan. The barrier surrounding the Fortress of Fear melts away. So this is it. It's time to go and get our revenge. Yeah! You said it, Cetacea. I don't speak whale, but I assume that was very cool. <laughs> the Fortress of Fear. Entranceway. I really hope there's a save point somewhere around here. Because it'd be awkward to leave save and then I have to come back here. <laughs> Mordigan's domain at last. We must be on our guard. Oh, look out! Get down, Mr. President! <laughs> That is a big fucking sword. A BFS, if you will. War in the... Can I help you, sir? You don't have voice dialogue? Okay. You eluded my blade. Of course, I would expect no less from the vanquishers of my fellow... Spectral Sentinels. Weird that it's not voice acted. I am Indignus, gatekeeper of the Fortress of Fear. Oh, never mind. It was voice acted, but I guess 
My volume is so low that I didn't even notice he was actually voice acting it. I just realized there's also the things that Angra Lai could do. Should probably go back and do that at some point. But this first. Okay, so it wasn't just me. Oh shit. My MP is ridiculously low. Oh no. I done goofed up. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> Not quite yet. Um, yeah. Let's get the old one pumping. Hey! Let me just, uh... Make Eric disgusting real quick. I hope this helps. Oh, that was a... Although it did buff him twice. Ah! What the fuck? Jesus Christ! This just kicked my shit in! I mean, I would use my pep power, but... Holy fuck! Uh. Cast most spells and abilities for free for a few turns. MP is no object. I really like Ozone! But I, th I think I need to do... Oh wait, I don't have Omni Heal yet. I thought I got Omni Heal. Huh. I'm gonna try and zing Serena. Even, I might have to have Rab do it, but come on, is it... Oh, thank God she's back. Okay. With her back... Multi-heal, please. Oh, come on! I just came back- uh... Indignus does not fuck around, apparently. Zing stick on me. And I just got my pep, too. We could have done so many things. All right, there we go. Now we're in a better position. And now we're in a perfect position. Please stop bullying my... Yee! Motherfucker just knocked my ass down! Okay. Oh shit, I should have had him heal Serena. I done oopsied. Okay, well, I can have her heal herself. We'll Alright, there we go. Oh, please. Gee! Can you stop killing me, please? Alright. 
I don't think I've contributed anything to this fight at all. You know, and he's certainly using a lot of fire moves. I think I'm going to have... Although... Fuck it. There we go. Stop it! Oh no! He got rid of my buffs, that piece of shit! I'm gonna have to reset Rab up, but he's currently on keeping me from being dead duty, apparently. Boy, it sure'd be nice if I could participate in this battle at all. Oh, fuck. And now Rab is dead. And now both of us are dead. Awesome. Great. Fucking wonderful. Kazing. Kazing Rab. Stop killing everyone on my team! Oh, Jesus. As much as I want to take that risk. Please stop! Fuck! Uh, yeah! Am I under-leveled or something? What is this shit? Well, time for the B team to clean up. Okay. I doubt that'll work, but uh, let's start with revamp. Considering how bad things are, I think we're gonna try and make our team as buffed as possible. Immense defense. Uh, can greatly increase the number of blocks. Uh, defense from status ailments. He hasn't inflicted any. Wait, what's Night Watch? Attracts all enemies attacks to the user for a few terms, also making them invincible. But I can't do it, apparently. Uh, desperate measures. Holy impregnable defense. Kabuff. doing 169 god damn it <sighs> all right well it seems that's a moot point uh scrap metal Fuck! Jay didn't even get to do anything, and neither did Silvando. Hmm. Hmm. Oh God, no! Well, 
That's a party wipe. Am I gonna have to do some fucking grinding? Uh, the Fortress of Fear? That's fine. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, I'm gonna try one more time. But he can get rid of buff, so... My first thought was that we should try to buff ourselves as much as possible, but... I don't know how well that's gonna work. Am I willing to give it another go? The game auto-saved here. Well, as awkward as it is, I'm gonna have to zoom somewhere else to save. Oh, boy. Hmm. I'm going to Angrila. <laughs> like I was saying, we have some side stuff to do over there. Maybe the rewards we'll get from Angrila will be worth worth it and they'll help us in this. Also, I should probably turn in some of my mini medals. All right, I got to go through this door. All right, let's save. Okay, with that, I think we're going to end this episode here, and the next one, we're going to be doing the stuff here at Angrila, and uh, maybe trying to beat that bastard again, whose name already escapes me. <laughs> see you guys then, I'll see who I'm going to be raiding tonight.